what happens is that an mRNA vaccine is really a message. So it's like you receiving a letter or a message, it comes through to your own cells and it says to the cell, make some of the protein that looks a little bit like the coronavirus. And so then your own cell make, looks a little bit like the coronavirus, but it doesn't make you sick. And then your body's own immune system fights that cell and knows how to fight it in the future. The mRNA itself, which is the messenger, actually gets destroyed really quickly. So um, it doesn't stay around in your body for very long and it certainly doesn't have the ability to change your own DNA. That's, that, that's just not, not possible with this particular type of technology. There are different types of technologies that are in, involved, but all of them don't um, change your own DNA. Um, that would obviously be of, of, of significant concern if it did. And um, that's one of the things that you look at in early studies of any type of technology. And the mRNA technology, although it's new to the vaccine field, has actually been studied for well over a decade in itself in use for other things, for example, in, in cancer therapies.